Today, Holy Mother just commemorates and celebrates the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and this feast celebrates the just dogmatic teaching that the Immaculate Mother of God, the Ever Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory. Although the Scripture do not explicitly affirm Mary's assumption is offer a basis for it because it strongly emphasizes that the Blessed Virgin's perfect unite with her son. In other words, the Blessed Virgin perfect union with Jesus' destiny. This union with is manifested from the time of Jesus' miraculous conception in the womb of Mary to her participation in Jesus' mission, and especially in her association with Jesus' redemptive sacrifice, cannot fail to require a continuation after death. Perfectly united with the life and saving work of Jesus, Mary shares his heavenly destiny in body and soul. So my dear sisters and brothers, reflecting on the assumption of our mother Mary, Pope Benedict XVI says that, by contemplating Mary in heavenly glory, we understand that the earth is not the definitive homeland for us either, and that if we live with our gaze fixed on eternal goods, we will one day share in this same glory. Consequently, we must not lose our serenity and peace, even amidst the thousands of daily difficulties and challenges. The luminous size of Our Lady taken up into heaven shines out even more brightly when such shadows of suffering and violence seem to loom on the horizon. And we may be sure of this, that from on high, our mother, Mary, follows in our footsteps with gentle concerns, dispel the gloom in moments of darkness and distress, and reassures us that she cared for us. She was over us with her motherly hand. And supported by awareness of this, let us continue confidently on our path of Christian commitment. Yes, let us confidently on our path of our Christian commitment wherever God's providence might lead us. And let us have the courage and the willingness to say yes to God's will and God's way so that we can move forward toward holiness and perfection under the guidance of Mary. And let us, yes, let each one of us love God love our neighbor, obey and worship God, and our destiny will be with God, with Mary, and all the saints in heaven. Amen.